Sports continuing coverage of the postseason. I'm James Sabalski. Game three is set to go down. Both these teams look ready to go, as does the official. Let's bring it on. A critical game for both sides here, and we are underway. Nice puck check inside the attacking zone. Slides it across to Goudreau. Look out, here they come on the attack. Matheson stick handling in his own zone. Takes the feed from the left side. Dumps it into the O zone. The Blue Jackets have it now. Slides it quickly to Johnson. Puck knock loose in neutral zone. Oh, they telegraph the pass and he picks it off. Pokes it away in his own end. Tries to get the puck over to Marchenko. And a great save! Montembeau is finding a way to put that playoff blowout behind him. Coming up big here early in the frame to make that save. A lot of confidence that's got to give him. Here's a shot. Comes up with a stop. Columbus moves ahead with the puck. Tries to get it over to Barron. Quick pass across to Line. Puck moved over to Doc. Through the neutral zone up along the wing. Throws it in. The Blue Jackets have it now. Moves it quickly over to Severson. With some open space at center. Here's a short pass to Fantilli. Gets the puck over to Doc. The Habs gain the zone. Quick pass to Line. Gets down low and blocks the shot. Along the wing, up the neutral zone. Columbus plays it along the wing. Stopped by the goaltender. That's a fantastic save by the goaltender, but his team has to do a better job of protecting the middle of the ice. Those high danger scoring chances eventually go in. Plenty of playing time left in this frame. Still looking for our first goal. Play resumes here as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. Some solid defensive work in their own end with the poke check. Anderson's got it into offensive territory. Big time stop. It's in. He scores. Well, often goaltenders today, they drop into the butterfly as a default position and make themselves as big as possible. Idea being, you want to take away as much of the net as you can. There's a lot of bodies in front, so a smart shot. He can't find it, and it finds its way to the back of the net. The Canadians land the game's first goal here in the first half of the opening frame. Well, yeah, I really like their game, James. It's not just about getting on the board first, but I like the way they've established a forecheck and they've held possession. I think they've done a real good job. They've had a consistent effort. Now they've got to find a way to finish the back half of this period the same way. Great heads-up play by the defender. Takes the feed. Up along the wing. And the play continues. Dumps the puck in. Montreal's looking to break out. Oh, catches him in the open ice. You want to send a message to your opponent early in the game, and that early delivery of a bone-crushing hit, that does just that. And that caroms off a body in the lane. Columbus looks to break out in their own end. Gains the zone from the right. Drives it to the crease. And that shot dies in traffic. Now a quick pass to Juracek. Puck scooped up by Montembeau. Goaltender covers it up, and we'll get a reset here. Evans is all around the puck, but the puck is all around him. Look at it whichever way you want, but when you have a point streak going, it tends to follow you around. Offense is on face off, and he wins the draw. Too many bodies in the way. Montreal's got it against the boards. Along the half wall with the puck. Forces the turnover. Columbus has it in the defensive end. Swatted away with the stick in the defensive zone. Montreal's got the puck. Devastating hit into the boards and listen to this building rattle. And now he moves it quickly to Dvorak. Puts it on net and he gets just enough of it to keep it out from the back of the net. 
As a defender, you love when your goaltender has this kind of rebound control. It makes your life so much easier. Fires it! Shuts him down! Good heads up play in the defensive zone. Montreal's gained possession along the boards. Matheson's got it across the line. Takes a shot. Oh, that goes off the mask and it stays out. Right up the gut into the attacking zone. And that goes off the player in front. There's a collision. Scrum ensues along the boards. Picked up along the wall by Fantilli. Columbus has possession of the puck. Looking to make something happen along the boards. Score! And the scratching and clawing has paid off as we are back to even. Well, we're back to even, James. I really like their game. I mean, when you're pushing and you're trying to find a way to get ahead and on top, you have to trust the process. That's exactly what they've done, and they've been rewarded for it. You have to have a ton of confidence to be able to make this play, and not just for the puck movement and the puck skills you have to have in tight quarters here, James, but also your awareness. You have to have patience with the puck to draw the coverage to you and then open up that lane for the goal. Past the midway mark in this period. You can feel the energy in this crowd. It's a tie game. Suzuki's quick stick lands from the puck here at center. Montreal's got the puck. Here's a pass in front. Scores! And with that strike, they got in front. Well, I really like their game tonight. I mean, you always have to manage the ebbs and flows, but when you grind away and you continue to trust the process, you get opportunity, and they convert it on it. Well, hockey is a game of inches. If the pass isn't on the tape, if it's in your feet, all of a sudden you're fumbling for it, and that gives the coverage time to defend you. But this one, it's right on the money, and the goal is a result. Montreal's jumped ahead by one here in the back half of the opening period. That goal-ahead goal should give them a real shot in the arm, a boost of energy, James, as they finally get rewarded for their shots to net. I love their puck pursuit. It has been outstanding in this game. If they can continue that and continue with the momentum, you got to feel and believe that they're going to get another one. They put the puck into the offensive end. Can't keep a hold of the puck after that play. He got all of that one. Moves it to Suzuki. And that's broken up in the defensive zone by Johnson. Montreal's got control of the puck. Slides into Caulfield. Refs arms in the air. We got a penalty coming up. All alone! There's the whistle, and here's the call. A tough penalty to take as you're looking for the equalizer. You're in a one-goal deficit, and you got to find a way to generate offense, James. Real tough one to take. Montreal sending their power play unit out for the first time tonight. First power play opportunity for this team. It's going to start in the face-off circle, getting possession with the win, and then looking to set up. Just a little too much contact and couldn't hang on to the puck. The Blue Jackets will kill off a few extra seconds now. And they send it down the ice. He got all of that one. And that's a solid clearing attempt on the play. Retrieves the puck, trying to kickstart this power play. And man, what a nice save. Suzuki's had the face-off dot ready to win this draw on the man advantage. Back underway as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. Puck moved back to center, forcing them to regroup. The Habs gain possession along the wall. Quick feed to Lenny. He does a great job of playing these angles perfectly, so when the rebound comes out with great timing, he's able to get a stick on the puck here, James. It's dirty, it's greasy, and it's a hard-nosed goal. Go 
coach has some choice words for his bench right now and you can just see the negativity on his face and on his demeanor because his team really didn't come ready to play now they're trailing in this game they got a mountain to climb late goings of this period montreal's been the better team here over the last few minutes increasing their lead to two columbus is quick on the draw moves it quickly over to fentilli and that's picked off in the defensive end battle ensues for that loose puck along the boards scooped up along the wall by Perrin. they go on the attack through center and that's snapped away in the defensive end by severson jostling for the puck but still maintains possession the Habs played along the wing. Here he is with the backhander. Shuts him down. This is a fantastic save, James. He's all over it. What I mean by that is he knows exactly where it is and where it's moving. The reason why he can get square to it to make the save. The Canadians have created a lot of scoring chances so far, and they lead it late in this first period. Swoops in and grabs the puck with the centers tied up in the scrum on the draw. Way off target! And with the buzzer, that puts a bow on the first 20 minutes of play. We've got lots more still to come. Second period action next, right here. are back at center ice and we are ready to get period number two underway. The second stanza is underway as the puck is dropped. Let's go. Well, Cheryl, how do you send this one up through the first 20 minutes? Columbus is behind in the game and they deserve to be, James. They really didn't get off to a good start. There's no sense of urgency out there. They're really chasing the game. But you've got to hand it to their opponent. They possess the puck and they've attacked on their opportunities. in this period. Montreal's got a 3-1 lead as they have dominated for the most part in this. And now it's grabbed by Severson. From the left wing, takes the feed. Moves it to the middle. That's a huge goal. That's going to give him a two-goal cushion. You can see the excitement on the bench right now. That's all it takes to have an impact. They put it in the net. Now they can take a deep breath and go play with creativity. Takes the puck behind the net. Oh, he made the save. How did he stop it? I have no idea, James. I mean, he was down and out, but profound athleticism and desperation got him back in to make it. 
And Sarah, listen to these fans here. They are getting loud. Some of them are getting on their feet here still applauding that save we saw. James, I think it's the appreciation for the desperation save, the complete the will to keep that puck out of the net, and they're really showing him the way. Big time stop there. You have to be quick in your crease if you want to be able to deny low zone shots. He does that perfectly as he's tight to the shooter right there. Turn that chance aside. And they keep the pressure on. And they'll dump it in. Slides it diagonally to Harvey Pinard. And puts the body into it, a little bumper car hockey. Denied by the goaltender. Jocelyn for the puck, and he loses control. Taken by Provorov. Odd man rush. Great read with the stick. Oh, what a close save by Montembeau. Come along the boards. 
From the right side, moves it up ahead. Moves inside! Oh, he got a piece of it to keep it out. Scuffs it again! In the box in the low slot, the goaltender gets right out next to the shooter and makes the save. Good use of the body to knock him off the puck. Sent into the offensive zone. Moves it to top. Through the neutral zone up along the wing. Columbus gains a hold of possession. Jenner's got it on the offensive end. Barron's almost back on the ice. A chance to clear. The Blue Jackets' man advantage fails to convert, and the team's still down by a goal. Specialty teams are critical, especially when you're down by a goal and you have an opportunity to get the equalizer, and they just weren't able to generate anything on that one. And that's a tough one to take as they remain down by a goal at even strength. Quick feed to Wierenski, and he loses control of the puck. Works it across to Slavkovsky. Shot! Stopped by the goaltender. And the puck stopper hangs on to get a breather here for the team. Montreal's been bringing the heat offensively all night long, and they continue to lead here late in this middle frame. Columbus with a big defensive zone faceoff. Oh, what a stop! Puck is frozen and will get a faceoff. Here in the later stages of this period, Montreal's clinging to this 4-3 lead. The Canadians win the faceoff. Great save from in tight. I love this save, James. I mean, the goaltender is so aggressive on this play, doesn't give the shooter any time to get rid of it. Centers get set as they're ready to drop the puck again. And they take possession here in the offensive zone and time to go on the attack. With possession along the wall. And the Lakes come to block in there. Standing tall with the save. Moves it quickly over to Provorov. Second period nearly in the books here. Grabbed along the boards by Goudreau. Takes the feed. A great core strike to hang on to the puck after that. Passes it over. Denies him. He got on. Feeds it on over to Pizzetta. We've played not one, but two periods now tonight. It's a chance to go grab that final snack. Go stretch your legs, because a big third period is just around the corner. signals both teams into position. It's been a throwback to 80s hockey here, and we are underway here in the third. Two-thirds of the way to the finish line, and this one for regulation time. Cheryl, how do you view it? The Canadians are leading in this game, but I don't know if the coaches are going to like it that much, James. Everyone's cheating on the offensive side of the puck, and it's been back and forth, action-packed game. And it's all about offense. Great save by the goaltender on that one. My goodness, the pressure really building here on the offensive end. Loose puck battle along the boards. There's a hit on the play. Oh, thunderous collision there. And look at that, they finally get it out. Out of midair, he swats it down to the ice. Here in the corner, he grabs the puck. Gets his stick on it. Montreal's regained possession of the puck. Through the open ice, they're picking up steam. Slides the puck down low. Columbus looks to get things going now with the puck. Oh, nice use of the boards with the pink pass. Puck dumped in. The Habs take possession in the defensive end. Sends the pass over. 
And the perk skips away after that move. Oh, I know what he was trying to do there, James. He thought he had it with that move, but he created some space for himself, but unfortunately loses the handle and he dies on the stick. And he's taken down the official's arm, signaling for a penalty. Here comes the call. Well, when you're looking for a goal, being shorthanded is not ideal. You're also killing valuable time where you can be pressing when you're PKing. Well, with earlier success on the power play, I think they'll operate in the same fashion, James, in that 1-3-1 setup where they look to work through the flanks because you know they've got some lethal shooters on this team. Oh, and he takes possession of the puck from off the wing with the centers all locked up there off the draw. Can't keep a hold of it after that hit. Let's it fly. Makes the save with the puck. All sorts of pressure. Can they get this out? Picked up along the boards by Jenner. And sends it just out of reach. Here's a short pass to Harris. Steps inside the attacking zone down the left wing. Stops him cold. Quick pass to Slavkovsky. From their own end, trying to kickstart this power play. Great pressure with the stick. Loses possession after he takes a little hit. Columbus skins a hold of the puck against the boards. Big time saving goal as he gets out of it with the stick. Jackets gain possession. Columbus has it behind the cage. Montreal's trying to make something happen in the offensive zone. The Blue Jackets will play it in their own end. Shot! That was amazing! What a save by Montembeau! Rebound control is critical in the game of hockey. Putting it to the corner, and now the offensive player has to hound the puck. Moves it to Savard. And he gets in the lane to block that. Beautiful feed up ahead from the right wing side. And he takes the feed. Denies him! Well, this save is all about the compete to find the puck. I mean, it's a battle, and you're trying to outbattle your opponent. You can see him bombing up and down, trying to find the puck. He finds it at the last minute, reacts, and makes the save. More than half the period has gone by. Hope you're enjoying this one. It's been a fun one here tonight. 4-3 hockey game. Big play inside the defensive zone. Quick feed to Harvey Pinard. The Habs carry it along the wall. Lugs the puck into the offensive zone corner. And it's a quick pass to Evans. Moves it to the middle. And that's stopped. Merce Lickens plays keep away as he hangs on for the whistle. Well, he's made critical saves all night. No bigger right here in the third period to be able to hold on to that one, not give any second shot opportunity. Puck possession so critical. Another face-off coming up here. Columbus has won the defensive zone draw. Passes over to Wierenski. Quick pass across to Johnson. Gaining momentum up along the side. Wax it into the offensive zone. And he slides it quickly to Dvorak. Puts it in deep. Columbus gets the puck near the boards. Great reach with the poke check. Dishes it off. Quick feed down low. Feeds it over. And too much traffic in front blocks that one. Feeds it to Johnson. Sidesteps the check. Stones up with the blocker. Moves 
it quickly over to Shekai. Moves the puck along the half wall. Oh, a clutch save! Blast from the blue line. Columbus has it near the wall. Uses the boards with the bank pass. Broken up with the stick in the defensive zone. Here's a short pass to Doc. A ton of goals on the board tonight, and you know that both teams are looking to pad their stats. A lot of players in on the action. That's got to give you confidence and make you feel good. This is a face-off. They'll definitely want to win here inside the offensive zone. Off the draw, they take possession. Tosses it on to Caulfield. Montreal's got it along the wall. The Blue Jackets get a hold of the puck in their own end. Here's a chance! Oh, he put it just wide as it hits the outside of the post. Columbus is certainly frustrated that goes off the post and out, but they're not down and out yet. This is a close game. If they can find a way to get one, they'll inch their way back in. Slides it across. It's in the back of the net. He scores! Well, this is just a perfectly executed shot, James, as he drops into his butterfly position. He's trying to make himself as big as possible and get his blocker on it. He just can't catch up to it. The Canadians have been a lot of fun to watch tonight. Lots of offensive scoring chances, and they have capitalized late here in this third. Won the draw inside the neutral zone. They're going to work offensively here. The Blue Jackets really need a goal here. They pull the goalie and the extra attackers out. And a delayed penalty coming up. And scores into the empty net. This was right in my wheelhouse, James. These were the type of moments that I played in. And everyone can take a breath now that the insurance marker has hit the 4 by 6 You can see the body language on them, James. The dying moments of the game, and they're able to get the empty net goal. Everyone can take a deep breath here, as that should do it. The Canadians are going to want to bring this big lead home late in the third. I really like the response in their game to break the tie in this series and get ahead 2-1, James. It's all about habits, finding ways to apply pressure to your opponent. And now with that lead, you have applied pressure. So if you can get the next win, man, game four is going to be interesting. From all of us here at EA Sports, I'm James Sabolski. Thanks so much for joining us here this evening. The playoffs roll on, and we will see you then next time.